Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the HQ ROM for our Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and the Note 8. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is the HQ port and this is the first ever one UI based Android 10 port for our Galaxy S8, S8 Plus or the Note 8 or any Exynos 8895, like just the three of them, but yeah, Exynos 8895 series and here we go with the latest One UI 2.5, which is the stable version, obviously, then the Android version 10, and the kernel is Hades kernel 2.0, and then we get the secondary patch 1 December 2020, which is the latest, obviously, and this is ported from the Galaxy Note 8, uh, to be precise. Uh, sorry, it's not ported from the Note 8, it's ported from the Galaxy Note 9, but yeah, anyways, here we go, this is the Hades Q port, and this is a really smooth ROM, like you can use this as your daily driver. There are a lot of working, uh, necessary stuff which is totally working. There is no, uh, uh, like just that major things which are not working. But yeah, there are ma some minor things which you may need and which may not work, then you may complain it. So yeah, the first thing is the iris scanner. Now, iris scanner is like was removed. Uh, from the next updated devices and also Android 10 has no support like because of that so it may get a bit difficult but I don't know if it is going to be fixed but yes for now there is no iris scanner option or even iris, iris scanner will not work uh, right now but yeah maybe in future if with any update they port it to Android 10 then obviously it will work so for now the iris scanner does not work and guys, there are just some more minor issues, which are the first one is the heart rate monitor cannot be used as a selfie camera. Now, not like 99% people may not be using this. So it does not count as an issue actually. But yeah, if you are using it, it does not work. So if you really badly want that, then yeah, this may not be for you. Also, some camera modes will be like not working just a normal camera works fine like for my usage i actually don't use camera a lot but yeah for my usage normal clicking pictures and stuff and slow motion other the supported features will work but yeah if you are shooting something which is not supported for a device then obviously those modes will not work so yeah you can test it yourself what works and what not also you can use a g cam for your normal set so it does not affect your samsung camera modes and all that stuff also the uh, note 8 the galaxy note 8 has an uh, a weird bug of the flashlight intensity that it does not work let's see if it works on the s8 and maybe in the s8 plus 2 so the flashlight intensity works on the s8 and normally and i hope it works on the s8 plus 2 so yeah the uh, issue is just for the galaxy note 8 as mentioned now except this everything else is working and as this is the first android 10 uh, port let me explain some features and here we go. This is the setting screen. A little bit of changes have been done from Android 9. Obviously, uh, there will be a lot of changes from one UI 1.0 to 2 and 2.5, obviously 2.5 is the latest. So yeah, here we go, some icon changes. Then inside display, we have this dark mode now in these two, uh, no, separate and big as I don't know why it has been like, so much complicated but maybe they need a change so that's why and yeah just your normal stuff and your normal modes and lock screen then we have uh, actually i forgot what has been changed so yeah maybe you have to look about that uh, yourself but yeah still uh, there are a lot of changes actually it's been a long i have made any one you have 2.5 videos and now bc will work so yeah i don't just don't get time face recognition is also there let's see if that works just you know uh to pass the time of this video uh i have to do something so yeah here we go uh, let's check the face recognition remember the pattern okay i thought there is some error okay continue i hope it works yeah this should work do you wear glasses no let me just do this and skip it okay guys so my face has been registered let's see if it works fine okay i agree to back up my back mm. for now it's not working i don't know if it works or not if it's able to... okay it works but it's not that good for me I don't know if I'm holding it properly or something like that, but yeah, 
it works really slow i don't know how it is for you or maybe uh, it's not proper for me right now i cannot use it properly but yeah you can use face recognition and that's how it works and as our device is a edge e device you can actually make use of the edge screen so here is the edge screen apps and the blur looks really nice you can also set up uh, other stuff uh, let me just add some random stuff so that i can show you how it actually works it's really hard to get the edge screen with your one hand and this is how it works this new one looks really nice with the blur effect and it's really cool and these are the recents and everything that's that's how the ui and all that stuff is and there's no need to worry about other features they work totally fine you have uh, bluetooth uh, the camera everything is working fine your all of the modes which are supported by galaxy s8 is working fine there are no such issues battery life is also same as uh, any other one ui roms i was actually getting better on uh, aosp roms but yeah here we go if you want samsung framework then obviously you have to drain a lot of battery aosp is just pure experience and if you love that obviously i love that but yeah i, I require volte but yeah here you go anyways one year 2.5 the latest uh, security patch on your galaxy s8 s8 plus and note 8 right away so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and many people were waiting for something new for the galaxy s8 just those normal aosp roms were getting developed and other stuff but yeah thanks to the developers for all the love they have been to these devices the three and yeah i hope i will be able to buy a uh, like another flagship device so that i can make videos on that too i maybe in by april or something may i will buy one more device older one maybe the galaxy note note 10 plus or the s20 uh, it depends on what the development is and that's why i will buy it and obviously second hand so yep wish me luck so that is it if you want to watch the installation like there is no need to installation like it will just stretch the video so i will just post the installation in the description actually there is no need it's just some easy work just to wipe and flash the normal regular stuff to do that so yeah i know you samsung users are really good at it installation and all the stuff so yep that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed it press the like button if not the dislike button that will be a great feedback for me and if you want to watch more of my videos then subscribe it's your choice i don't see any compulsion there so yep guys bye bye take care please wear a mask i don't know what is happening like covid is getting new variant uh, yeah it has is now spreading slowly in the world and i hope it does not spread like covid 19 so the covid 19 variant too please uh guys you have to wear a mask you have to protect yourself and please take care of yourself otherwise it's time for tata bye bye so yeah now i will say bye bye to you guys so bye bye for now I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, again, bye-bye.